in this exercise 6 we are going to make deployment object for our metadata service and mongodb so i have my metadata.yaml this is deployment descriptor so kind is deployment the rest all information is almost similar to your replica set so i'll have replica count 2 select a template where we write all the details about pod the label for the pod and the container specification here i'm giving the app version as 10.0 we can see this in our slash info api call on my mongodb yaml i have kind deployment metadata name as mongo and similar stuff the only one difference that i have made is image mongo and i am specifying the exact version that i am looking for which is 4.2.6 now the service is exactly the same cluster ip for mongo and node port for metadata and the node port is 32323 let's deploy all four of this so i have many terminal window open here the first one watch on pods watch on endpoints watch on service watch on deployment and watch on replica set first mongo service after this mongo deployment say so yeah, i have one of one mongo endpoint configured all set after this metadata service services deployed metadata deployment object so you see metadata replica set created dynamically accordingly two pods for metadata showing up here and after some time once it is declared ready will show up in the endpoints as well okay so i have my application up and running let's try and hit the metadata endpoint on node port right i go to the browser hit the metadata endpoint and i don't have any uh, data inserted i go to the health endpoint i see the status is up i go to the info endpoint i have version 10.0 which is specified in my environment property file okay all looking good let's insert couple of entries so i'll insert couple of entries go ahead and reload metadata i have two entries here continuous reload same response all looking good right now let's do one thing let's upgrade our metadata service to version 3.0 so let's change this metadata service to 3.0 in this version i have not made any functional change i have just enabled all the endpoints xhr endpoints plus the health endpoint is going to show more details it's a feature of spring boot actuator so to deploy the new version i just have to go and i just have to go and apply my to deploy the new version i just have to go and apply my yaml file so if you notice I have the new pod showing up here. The old two pods is going to be terminated one after another, right? So once this pod becomes ready, then it will start terminating the previous pods. See, it is terminating and the new pod is coming up. Second pod, notice the age here in the time terminated. Once it becomes ready, it will show up here terminated. The new two pods are showing up in the metadata service. We have seen this that it works really fine, right? It's up and running. Perfect. Now let's go and hit the endpoint here. Still, all the data is intact, right? Everything is good. If I go and hit the actuator health endpoint, see the changes. See here, now I have enabled the details 
for the health endpoint. It also shows Mongo status is up because now in this version, I'm connecting to the proper MongoDB, not embedded Mongo, and it enables those features to check the status of the database. Also, it provides the version of the MongoDB database. This is risky, so by default, all this is disabled in Spring Boot framework. Okay, all good. Now, let's go and upgrade MongoDB version. So, I have MongoDB 4.2.6. The latest version is 4.2.7. I have changed my MongoDB deployment YAML. I'll go and apply my descriptor again. Applying my MongoDB. The new pod is coming up. The previous pod is terminating. If you notice the replica set, so previous replica sets are desired state 0, the new replica set created for the newer versions of the deployment, right? All good. Now, if I go and hit this actuator health endpoint, instead of 4.2.6, I should see 4.2.7. Again, Spring Boot and JDBC connection pool re-establishes the connection with the new MongoDB. So if I reload this, I still get the response and my MongoDB version is 427 upgraded. Let's go and hit the metadata endpoint, right? We had two entries here. When I reload, oh, all the entries are gone. I don't have any entries because my pod got restarted and when pod got restarted, all the data which was residing inside MongoDB pod, gone. And that's the problem. We'll solve this problem using volumes in our next topic. That's all I have for my deployment service exercise.